The B2S Podcast is brought to you by Motivated Apparel. Motivated Apparel, the premier gear for motivation. A brand that motivates, inspires, and empowers you to stay motivated while chasing your dreams. Head on over to www.shiftmotivations.com forward slash shop motivated apparel and grab yourself some motivated apparel today. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Blueprint to Success podcast. I'm your host, Mike Mariner, a.k.a. The Shift Motivator, joined with my co-host, my brother from another mother, Alexander. What's going on? How y'all doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Joined with my co-host, also my brother from the same mother, Bo Wanda. What's happening, my brother? You know what's going on, because we do what we do, how we do what we do, baby. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's yeah, how y'all go. fellas doing, man? How y'all doing this week, man? I'm blessed, man. Yeah. It's, it's been a real productive and great week. Yeah. Very productive. Yeah, yeah. We go. We gonna get to that, man. That's yeah. Uh, we gonna get. You got a lot nice. going on right now, so gonna let the people know. Gonna let the people know, yeah. Alexander. Everything is good, man. Just uh, uh, evaluating uh, a lot of evaluation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was reading the Proverbs, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I try to read a proverb a day, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, the, like I say, I can't, I, don't, I can't remember the chapter. It's probably around chapter two. <laughs> uh, he was talking about. Hey, as long um, as you got Google, baby, that's all you did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was, uh, 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 he was talking about um, uh, the un. Uh, the un the, the weights like not having if you basically he was talking about uh, lying in, mm-hmm. in your your weight scale like you not having your weight scale balance and you lying mm-hmm. about your weight scale basically about deceiving people and stuff like that so just evaluating mm-hmm. a couple of things how I move and yeah. why I'm moving in that in that situation or just keeping my perspective on if if I'm gonna do this I want my heart to be in the right place why I'm doing this, not just mm-hmm. do it for the result. You, you dig right. what I'm saying? So just right. a lot of evaluation, just, just some real spill, you feel me? Right, yeah, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good, man, that's good. Well, well, man, we gonna go ahead and start off, man. Dub, you just, you just like, right before we got ready to record, man, you just got some good news, man. You wanna, you wanna tell the people about that, man? Let mm-hmm. us know. Man, man, bro, I just got a nomination from the Red Letter Awards. Yeah. yeah. Valley, California. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Yo. Yeah. Uh, nominated for Gutter to Glory. Yeah. I, I love that record featuring Tim Moses. You can stream it. You can uh, download it. You know. Shameless plug. Yes. <laughs> shameless plug. You know. Yeah. Um, man, and just sometimes you don't wonder why things happen the way they happen. Mm-hmm. But you thank God in hindsight they happened the way they did because a lot of things wouldn't have transpired if we would have right. just went with the original plan. So. Right. I'm I'm learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable mm-hmm. in uncomfortable situations that will still further me into catapult. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what I mean by that is that a lot of things that transpired for the album that's dropping yeah. wouldn't have happened if everything if I wouldn't have lost all my music. Why? I had to re record everything. A little feedback. I know we live, but a little feedback, you hear it like ding, ding. Yeah. You hear it? Yeah, dang. You don't have no feedback? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, remember just me then. I'm gonna shipping. Uh, okay, man. My that's bad, it. My, that's my bad, bad, my bad. bad. Editing, I'm gonna make sure you're on point. I'm, I'm, bad. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make sure you're on point. <laughs> you, you, I'm gonna have to cut all this. My bad, my bad. I yeah, know, that's my extra my work, my bro. bro. It's always one person in the group. I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. I heard a little bit of it. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't gonna out you like that, bro. Okay, okay, okay. But it's just like, man. Um, <laughs> success doesn't really fully prepare you as far as the blueprint or the outline of it. 
It's yeah. like something you have to really prepare for. Um, and you have to be willing to, like you say, shift and make the adjustments. Yeah. Because there's a reason why things ain't pan out like they were supposed to. I had to re-record a whole album. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. And the same stuff that I saved on a hard drive with the other music that I don't need is still on there inactive. <laughs> that, so that that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, but I mean, you lost you lost the whole album, I, right? I shut down for a whole month. I was that angry. Wow. I shut down for a whole month. I didn't want to look at no studio. I didn't want to hear no music. None of that. Yeah, cause you was done. You was finished. But guess God had better plans, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's and the way it's lining up, bro. Yeah. I understand it now. Yeah. Yo, cool. Well, man, what well, well, shoot, man? We're just gonna go ahead and kick it off right there, man. Look, um, like what do you um entail like all of your success towards? I mean, cause you you've been doing um what you've been doing, man. You've been you've been an artist for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like a long time. Like you've actually introduced me to a lot of hip hop artists, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And some, you know, there's quite a few that ain't doing it no more. Yeah. You know, so, but here you are, you know, um, 10, 15 plus years later in the game, mm -hmm. and you still here, but yet you're, you're still making good music. You're still right. producing good, good, good product. And I'm not saying that just cause you my, my brother, mm -hmm. but like, man, like, like I've said, like y'all too, um, Cause I, I I depend on y'all a lot when I do my live events, you know what I'm saying? And y'all come out and y'all bless the people, but I know people that don't listen to rap music like y'all music. They have actually told me that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they don't like rap music, but they like y'all music, and it's just what y'all bring to the table. So you know, we're just gonna kick it off with that, man. Like, what would you, you know, what do you, what would you entail your like your success to? My work ethic. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Talk to I, it. A lot of. Um, and I think this was the ET that said this. It's mm -hmm. like, you can do this more than me, that this is more than me, da 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 more than me, but you would not work with me. me. <laughs> <laughs> that stuck with me. Yeah, sure. You have, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. artists, music may be trash. Yeah. But they are what they are, and they're able to get in front of the audience that they're able to get in front of is because right. of their work ethic. Right. Relentless, and they're not afraid to share their success. Right. Work ethic, faithfulness, being mm -hmm. committed, even my, my, my little month hiatus, I was mad, but I done calmed down. Yeah. As you can see, I'm still trucking. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But um, my consistency, my work ethic, yeah. but most importantly, what really keeps me mm -hmm. grounded and rooted is that I know people need me. Mm. That's a difference. You have people mm. chasing the stage. I want to be on the stage. And like you have people that, because in a sense, this is realistic, but you're mm -hmm. worshiping the idol and the music and, and the hip hop artists that you're, right. you're inspired by. So you look for more of their approval and their acceptance yeah. more than the needs of the people. Yeah. And so if you can't connect with the artist that you're like, I want to do a record with you, man. Yeah. I think you dope, da 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 da. And it hurts your feelings. Mm hmm. Now you have nothing to stand on because all of your eggs was in that basket in that moment. Right. And if it didn't pan out like how it was, you'll you you run like a dog with his tail <laughs> between the leg and you'll escape. Right. Mm -hmm. Because one like when you're doing this, man, we don't do this for notoriety. We don't right. do it for fame. Right. We don't do we don't do this to get acknowledged. Those are nice things. It's just bonuses that come with it. Right. But if your heart is really for the heart of the people, mm hmm that's what keeps you humble. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps you grounded. Yeah. Because there's somebody that's going out through worse than what you're going through. Yeah. That is nothing compared to what you're going through. Yeah. So that's what keeps me um, just in a space to continue to do it. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to keep doing it yeah. until I can't no yeah. more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just who I am. This is what God called me. And it's part of my purpose. It's not my full purpose, mm -hmm. but it's, it is a tool. Right. And I look at it as... Right. We, we have to be, I don't want to say gatekeepers, but we have to really be big on mentorship. Mm -hmm. That's key. Like, it's my responsibility to hand it down to the next generation and show them how to show them the ropes. Don't do this. Don't, mm -hmm. don't do that. Like, you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get caught up with these people. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, it's my responsibility. And I wear it proudly. So mm -hmm. that keeps me going. That keeps the fire burning. Even right. if it dies out, I was like, you know, let's re-spark it. 
right. somebody come along right. and God to confirm whatever they say or right. how they move and right. it gets me going again. So we have pivotal moments that it's like, no, you got a lot more in you. Mm -hmm. We got a lot more work to do. Yes. That keeps me going, keeps me yeah. motivated. You, you said something I want to I want to pick it back off of and and throw this out there, bro. Mm -hmm. Is you said if I heard you correctly, you said right. they they need me. Mm -hmm. I don't think you realize how powerful that was when you said they need me, because yeah. see, a lot of people that I don't know, um, but they know you, mm -hmm. and maybe I've had a conversation with or maybe saw their post on social media and said something about you. Mm -hmm. They all say a lot of the same stuff. Like, man, he just a great dude. I just, like, like I'm gonna be honest with you, like, man, like, early on in his career, bro, I was like, dude, like, 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 bro, like, you might, like, tone it down a bit, man. It's like, he's traveling to everybody's event, but nobody's traveling to his. Mm -hmm. except, yeah, yeah, for, for sure. yeah, except for, except yeah. for a let few, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. There, there was a couple guys he was, he was rocking with, they was like, they'd just pop up at his event and not tell him, and he'd share that with me. <laughs> But for the most part, like he popping up at everybody's events, mm -hmm. and like, 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 hey man, what do y'all need? He's telling me that, and I, I, I know him. And yeah, he's going to go to some. Y'all need help because I do the same thing. Yep. Like, what do y'all need we help? Like, a lot of like. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he going to serve. I'm like, bro, like you, you driving 45 minutes to an hour one way to a show that you ain't even performing at, mm -hmm. but you going to support somebody else, and then when you get there, hey, what do y'all need? <laughs> you know? I'm like, bro, like, like, bro, that's gas, bro. <laughs> but you know, that's it. That was his work ethic, man. That just mm -hmm. so when he said that they need me, that just hit different with me, bro. Because yeah. when you understand what you have, and that God gave you something for the benefit of the people, it hit different. Mm -hmm. It hit totally different. You know what I'm saying? Um, exactly. You know, Delatora McNeil was uh, uh, one of the best speakers in this world, man, that I had the opportunity um, to work with and also be mentored by, man. He's, he's the first guy that I heard say this quote, but I've heard, you know, heard it quite often after then. Mm -hmm. But he, he said that you are the aspirin to somebody's headache. Mm, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what you have is what you have. There's a, there's a McDonald's on every corner. There's a Burger King on every corner. There's a Taco Bell on every corner. KFC, Popeye. KFC, right? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they each have their space in the industry. So we can't look at the fact, because you got people, maybe somebody's listening right now, they're saying, oh, man, somebody else is doing that. Or somebody else is doing that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you feel it within your heart of hearts that this is something that you're supposed to be doing, it don't matter who's, who's doing it. Right, because exactly. at the end of the day, your success is what is your success. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there, man. So let, let's chime in on that, man. When you said that that you need me, because like you know, I've had conversation with you, Alexander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about the same thing. You know what I'm saying? When we all been mm -hmm. at certain pivots and transitional moments in our life, and we all had to encourage each other at some point, or somebody yeah, had to encourage us. Yeah, yeah. And, and and we've had to come like like like, bro, your sound just different. I can't mm -hmm. explain it, yeah. you know, yeah. but different is good. I mean, that's my quote. Think different, yes. be different, live different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So different is good. So it's like when trying to explain you, when I listen to your music, bro, it's like, man, this is just different, bro. But it's like, it's like banging. So let's just hit on that for a minute, man. That just hit different, man. You say you need me. You, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because and I'm not even ashamed to admit this, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because like, Yo, the other day, I was talking to God, mm -hmm. and I was like, where do I fit in? Mm. Well, you go on Instagram, and, and shouts out to all the, the big homies, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm from Tampa, bro, so uh, KB, my favorite Christian rapper. Okay, hey, man, KB, KB, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to KB. Killing it right now. You know what I'm saying? Right you know what I'm saying? Right Loso, Loso, my favorite battle rapper. Ah, they, oh, you can't, they, 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 everybody, yeah. everybody in the city putting their money on Loso. You know what I'm saying? That's just snapping, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when you, you feel me? So when you look <laughs> up and you see the KBs and the Losos and Orlando, home, home team Orlando up the street, yep. the YBs, you know what I'm saying? Who really feeding people ministry wise and, um, exactly. and uh, Crescendo, shout out to Crescendo of Orlando, you know what I'm saying? And many other artists. 
uh, the Lecrae's, the 1K's, so when you see the here, they're there. Like, God, where do I fit in with this? Because it seemed like everybody taking up all the space. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, no, so wow. where do I fit in? You know what I'm saying? So mm. um, I was at the gym. I told you this story. I was at yeah. the gym. I met this I met this young guy. He was telling me his spill. We spilling. And we going back and forth, like tennis, boom, boom, boom. We going back and forth. And he was like, bro, I needed to hear your music tonight. He said, I don't know why you here. Right. Mm-hmm. He said, I needed to hear your music tonight. This is why. Give, give him the backstory. Huh? Give him the backstory of what you was doing. That for him to walk in there. What were you doing? Okay, so the you, got, you got to let the people know. You, all right, so, you had that conversation. <laughs> all, right, all right, so the backstory. I was in. I was in the gym. All right, so I had for yeah. one. I had two jobs. I was working at the gym, cleaning up at night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to call myself, trying to get my money right. You mm-hmm. feel me? Trying to stack up. You know what I'm saying? So I would go to work at the hospital. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? During the day and then at night, around from like nine to like one thirty in the morning, I work in the gym. Mm-hmm. So me and Diamond, shout out to Diamond and Certificate, man. Shout out to Diamond just had his son too yesterday. So no, Yo, big saying. congrats, man. Congrats, yeah, baby, bro. Yeah, baby Noah's here. You know what I'm saying? That's little nephew. So <laughs> yeah. we had a, uh, we got invited. Uh, it's a Christian artist named Stitch. Shout out to Stitch, man. Um, his dad is a, uh, he's a youth pastor. So mm-hmm. um, he reached out to Diamond and he said, Diamond, I want you to perform. And he was like, well. Alexander write all, all all the records, so that's how I got on the ticket for the show. It was a Southeast Youth Conference, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so I was faced. I was like, man, I need to rehearse for the show, mm-hmm. but I'm supposed to be at this gym cleaning these toilets tonight. Mm-hmm. And I and I always, and I was already feeling the tug, like, yo, you need to let this go. Like I was like, yo, you need to let this go. Mm-hmm. And don't make sense. I know it's extra income, but you need to let this go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I, 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 ain't, come, I ain't coming back to the gym. I, I, I got to let it go. Mm-hmm. That same night, I was in the gym uh, rehearsing. Right. I was rehearsing for this show. Right. That's the part I wanted yeah. you to get to. Yeah. Like, like, what yeah. was your main purpose? Yeah. And, and, and My main purpose you know. in there was to rehearse. Because yeah. uh, shout out to Elite Fitness Gym. <laughs> I'm shouting out to everybody. Uh, I was in there. My man Elias from the church here in the gym. So um, I was in the gym. I'm in the I'm in the, the yoga room with the mirrors and stuff. So uh, mom's let me hold the speaker with the Bluetooth. So I'm in there rehearsing for the joint. Mm-hmm. And as I'm rehearsing, now may I remind you, I haven't performed like in a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm nervous. The enemy trying to talk to me. You finna be out of breath. Blah blah blah. All that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, I say bump that. I'm in there rehearsing for the joint, and he walks in. My bro walk in, and he just sat down. He he just sat down. I'm I'm mid perform. I'm in there all like this, and yeah. he just walked in. I'm in there like this, and he just, <laughs> and he just walk in, bro, and just sit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He walk in and sit down. Like can you imagine? You doing your thing, and somebody just walk in, just sit down, nonchalant. <laughs> so, yeah, especially with everything that's yeah, going on right now. I'm jumping around, I'm sweating. <laughs> And he just sitting there, I'm, and then I was like, "What's what's up, bro?" He was like, "He said this your music." I was like, "Yeah." He said, um, "He said, what's your rapper or something?" I said, "Yeah." And then um, we got to chopping up, blah 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 blah. I ain't finna air him out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we got chopping up. He said, "Man, I needed to hear your music tonight." Mm-hmm. He said, "I needed to hear your stuff tonight." Mm-hmm. This was going on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So we were talking about. And then, mm-hmm. the long story short, in a nutshell, we rocked out. I end up praying with him, and I see him all the time in the gym. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And he got my number. He can hit me personally. We, mm-hmm. he, he got my Instagram, social media. I got his. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So we be in the gym. Mm-hmm. We lock in. Mm-hmm. The next day, I was in the gym for a workout, and three other guys. I'm in there. I'm in there for the uh, rehearse again. Mm-hmm. Three other guys walk in there. He was like, "Yo, man, old boy told me y'all he get, you got some fire music." We was sitting there for like two hours. Dang. Wow. Talking, because they was asking me about uh, about my relationship with God. They asked me about yeah. this and this mm-hmm. and this and that. And I, I, you know what I'm saying? we was just chopping up, kicking game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Going back and forth. And I was giving them my take on stuff. And they was giving me their take on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some of them um, didn't know about God. Some of them did. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and we, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we chopped it like that. So, yeah. I mean, that's just my take on, you yeah. know. Things yeah. of that nature. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up, man. That's, that's, that's good I'm stuff. A, I'm gonna piggyback off that. Yeah. And it, it shows you the importance of being different. One of the things I think that I, I really admire and love about our sound and our uniqueness is that mm -hmm. we don't sound like nobody else. Facts. Like they say, man, I can't, like, I can't, I can't pinpoint who you sound like. Like, yeah. good. <laughs> that I'm doing my job. Yeah, right. That means, and the right. like, progression on in the years of music, I started getting more comfortable with myself. I started mm -hmm. loving myself more when it comes to the artistry things mm -hmm. of it. And so it goes back to when I was just going to to support other people at other shows. All my blessings on the stage came off the stage. Mm. because of my willingness to serve other people. Oh. And every place I would go, they were like, hey, oh. don't I know you somewhere? I seen you. <laughs> oh, you was at such and such a bit. Like, yeah. hey, you an artist? Yeah. It's like, hey, won't you come over here and do such and such? Yeah. We set it up. And it was like a snowball effect. Yeah. Well, bro, hey. bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're talking about uh, especially doing the type of things that we do, right? Mm hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and I used to be a secular artist, you know what I'm saying? And, and this from the time to what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you said what you did outside of, mm -hmm. what you do outside the booth affects what you do inside of the booth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was talking to my boy Stitch in the studio. It was me down in the Stitch in the studio. We was writing. Mm -hmm. uh, he got a record for him to come out. We was chopping it up on his record. Mm -hmm. So me and him in the back of the studio, we just talking. And I said, bro, you got to understand, because my man's like 16, and he finna, my man's finna flood. My mm -hmm. man's finna mm -hmm. flood. You feel me? He got the swag everything. He got the sauce. So I was like, he, he was asking me questions. I was like, bro, you got to understand that. Um, your relationship with God is like 90% of your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when you not in the booth and you praying, when you read, and when somebody uh, uh, make you mad and you have to choose your words or when you have to be stern and firm at the same time and, and be mm -hmm. loving at the same time mm -hmm. or when you have, or when you see the little shorty and she, whatever, and you have to be like, uh, I'm a pass up on that. All that stuff ties into how effective you are in your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when we talk about being successful in certain things, with us, we speak in our music because we just do music. Right. Mm -hmm. But right. what about a chef? What about a, uh, a trainer? What about a teacher? What about an architect? Right. What about a surgical tech? What about mm -hmm. an x-ray technician? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Basically, if you want the fruit of what you're doing, mm -hmm. what about the fine print of what have you read the fine print of what you're signing up for to make sure? Uh, do you know mm. what you're getting into? Or do, do you know, <laughs> like, bro? Whoa, read the fine print. Read the fine print. <laughs> read the fine print. <laughs> like, do you know what you're going to have to do? What you're going to have to abstain mm. from? What you're going to have to sacrifice? Sacrifice. What new, what new habits you're going to have to learn in order? If you want this fruit, do you know what it takes to get the fruit, bro? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like uh I was uh talking to my man's clay in the gym and he real fit guy. He was like, bro, being in the gym is good, you know what I'm saying? But most of what you do outside of when you drink water, when you mm -hmm. eat right, when you garnish your, your portion, when you don't eat after a certain time, that stuff is more important than the gym. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and people don't understand. They think, oh, just hitting the gym. I'm gonna be no. You, mm -mm. what you doing outside of the gym is more important than what you do in the gym. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to dieting and stuff like that, people don't people don't read that fine print. Like, right. do you know what it takes? If you want that body like that, do you know what you're gonna have to do? Right. We ain't talking about sit ups. We talking about no, don't eat the rice. Right. Yep. I say in the record <laughs> mascot. <laughs> yo, I say in the record mascot. That's finna drop. Shout out to my man Diamond Kendrick Valley, man. We on the way, Shameless man. Shameless plug. Shameless plug, <laughs> man. Lavender coming in September. Uh, but Thanks. I said that um, I want this fried chicken. I need to eat a salad. Like that's the fine print, bro. No, you can't have the chicken, bro. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Alex, put the extra wing back. I only got two. Well, you only need two. Put the extra wing back. Don't get four wings. Get two. <laughs> <laughs> it's that fine print like you know what I'm saying so yeah. I think mm -hmm. that when people start wanting the success and things like everybody's success is gonna look different 
Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, what, I, me personally, I'm not no guru at this thing, but, but when I look at it, you know what I'm saying? I look at it this way, like, what do I need to do in order for me to have the best out of my situation? That's you know it. What I'm that, that's just that's it. it. Like, not trying to that's compare it. me to him or her or them or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, if I want to be a better, my son, 13 years old, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and me and his mom, I had him, I had him when I was young. Um, he has a beautiful mom, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So mm -hmm. we have a, a co-parent relationship. So, um, like, what do I need to do? No matter what I feel, that's out of the picture. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do to make sure I'm in his life and I be effective to the most possible? And mm -hmm. what do I need to do to make sure that I can help her uh, right. with my son as much mm -hmm. as possible? Like, what are those things that I need to know? Mm -hmm. Things that the fine print. Like, what do I, what do I need mm -hmm. for my situation? Mm -hmm. It could be different from his or hers, but for mm -hmm. mine. Right. Like, what do I need to do to make sure that this situation is mm -hmm. successful as much as possible so everybody mm -hmm. kind of need to know what's their fine print, you know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or oh, they'll grind that situation, you feel me? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not. No, no, you're straight. Good, bro. Yeah, yeah, the B2S podcast is brought to you by No Grind, No Glory Apparel, RA28 edition. It's a reminder to stay strong, to be courageous, to stop your fears, and to feed your faith. Even when it feels like everything is falling apart, just know that you were born to stand out and make an impact. Head over exclusively to www.nogrindnoglory.net and grab you some merch as a daily reminder that all things work together. Yeah, yeah, that's, that goes um, to what I always say, man, like success is in the details. Like we want to look over the small, fine print, you know what I'm saying? We want to look over... You know, you're getting ready to sign a contract and stuff like that, and you don't read the fine print, and then when that fine print come up, then you mad because you signed something and committed to something you didn't even read. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I always say, man. And, and I, I got a story, man, I share with y'all. I'm going to share with the audience, man. It's like, like, you know, Mike, Michael Jackson, man, that was one of my favorite artists, man. You know, my dad was real heavy in music growing up, so I can kind of see why, you know, he actually, you know, you know ended, ended up in that route and... But I'm a big fan of music too, so yeah. you know I guess it's just in our blood because that's what we grew up on. Like like Pop had a collection out this world, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. like you know, and um, and so like I was watching um, one of the things on 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 Mike Mike Jackson, man, and and um, and uh, it was said that no matter how many dancers Mike had on stage with him when they was rehearsing, like you could be behind him, like the 10th person and the 10th row back, and you, everybody's forward rehearsing their steps to the music, music going, everybody's stepping, you can hear the sound of the steps, everything. Mike could be looking forward and he can tell who's off beat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. It's a different kind of level of awareness. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> like you could be the 10th guy on the 10th row back and you miss the step just briefly and Michael stop and say, hold up. Hold up, hold up. We got to get that step right. Let's, you know, let's 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 replay that. And I'm like, like what? Like he's not even looking at the dude in the back or the girl in the back, but just by sound and his his status and his stature of of, of his artistry, mm -hmm. he's like, hold up. We got to replay that somebody off beat, and he can tell you who it is and correct it right then and there. All right, let's go run it back. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, dang. Cause it's different if I'm looking at you and I'm like, hold up, now get this that 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 step wrong. Mm -hmm. But me and you are both facing in the same direction, and you ten feet back, and I can stop the whole rehearsal and say like, yo, you off. Yeah. And 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 not just be like, hey, somebody's off in this area. No, John, you off. Let's get this step right, man. Let's go. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy, man. He locked in. <laughs> like, like. Yeah. I've like, never seen that. You know, and I was just, man, I was, I was floored when I saw that, bro. And I was like, man, this is crazy. So this is like, it's, it's very important that we pay attention to everything, man. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and, and to me, like, you know, you guys can chime in. But to me, it's like, when I think when we came up with the Blueprint to Success, um, all of this stuff was strategic, man. This, mm -hmm. this stuff came from mm -hmm. a gig that we, we that y'all had got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you, Alexander, pushed the envelope to get me on. Yeah. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the quick story behind that, guys, we did a uh, college fundraiser tour some years ago. Raise a hope fundraiser. 
Yeah, no, out. yeah. Shout yeah, out to, shout to out. them, man, for giving us that opportunity. Yeah. And um, they was raising some funds for a college tour, man, and 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 um, they were booked for uh, the artistry. And Alexander was like, "Yo, man, do y'all have a speaker for the event?" And they was like, "Well, no." Nah. He was like, yo, y'all need to get a speaker for this event. And he, actually, he was right. You know what I'm saying? It was a very huge event. Nice. It was a nice event. Very nice. Set up real nice. Mm -hmm. um, it was for the kids. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, and I'm not just saying it because it's me, but yeah, you do need a speaker at that event. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to show the kids something that they may have never seen before and, mm -hmm. and teaching them opportunities by taking them to these college campuses. You know? And so... He pushed the envelope, long story short. It took him a little minute because they weren't sold on it. Exactly. And yeah, yeah. Uh, But at the end of the day, I ended up being on the ticket, and we sitting in, in the dressing room behind the scenes just chopping it up, yeah. mm -hmm. waiting to get released to go do our thing, and we in there taking pictures, and it's like an, an epiphany comes in my head, like, man, yo, we need to take this on tour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it's just coming to fruition, you know, this in this season. And, so, uh, you know, so, bring us out to your organization, your school or whatever. Uh, no, we got a program, um, and uh, you know where I bring the message, and these guys bring the heat in the music. So if you need something, you know, to jump the kids off or motivation for the school year, hit us up, man. But that's how this all came about. See, success is in the details. I I recognize, or God used me to recognize, hey, this situation wasn't just a situation. So oh, if I wasn't yeah. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So if 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 there wasn't a, an attention on the details, who's to say we'd even be right here right now? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Because yeah. all of that was birthed from one situation that led to the next situation. So we can't be just dismissive to situations that come in our lives and say, "Oh, well, it don't serve me notice. It don't, don't. It don't serve me nothing." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I and I always make sure I tell that. You know, with, with the young people that I mentor, because you know, I I tell them that all the time. You got to play, pay attention to the detail, especially like you know, with the kids. Definitely. You know, yeah. Um, football field, basketball court, tennis court, all your job, you know. Maybe you ain't got that promotion because you're not attentive enough. You know, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe the fact that you just telling, you, telling yourself, well, they ain't paying me to do all that. That's, that's not paying attention to detail. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to get you recognized. So at the end of the day, you know, it goes back down to mindset. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that, like, what Dub started off with, like, work ethic, you know, being... Mm -hmm. You know the, the, his his longevity in the industry, man. It, everybody can't say that. You know that yeah. that's being successful in the details. You know, you know. And you gotta be able to go above and beyond. Like yeah. When when it comes to reaching next level of success, you gotta do next level work. Right. Ain't no bare minimum. Right. Like you have to. You right. have to. Each each level you have to the beast up. Right. Beast mode. Beast mode. Hey, make sure you get that. You know what I'm saying. Beast mode. Shift motivations. You heard me, <laughs> but um, you you have to because it's 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 like putting uh as the Bible say putting uh I guess old skin and new wine skin, oh because you can't put the new into the put old. The, oh, the the, put the new wine in the old wine, wine skin. skin. Oh yeah, because you, you end up losing both. Yeah, yeah. so once you mm -hmm. shed, like okay, like you say, new habits, yeah. new work ethic, new grind, new mindset, new ideals, mm -hmm. new vision. Like even when it comes to vision, like you have to repurpose it. Okay? Right. How can we tweak it? Right. How can we make it bigger? How can we make it better? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, that was cool, but now mm -hmm. we're at this level. Okay. Mm -hmm. What what can we do to to magnify mm -hmm. this momentum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shameless plug from the last episode, and and just keep driving the force and mm -hmm. keep progressing and keep and stay consistent with yeah. it. Yeah. Um. When it comes to next level of success, you can't get caught up on what you haven't done. Right. Because you look at the next person and be like, man, I, I want to be there. But it's like, okay, yeah, well, that's for them. That's what God, wherever God got something, that's where right. they got them. Like, pay attention to what you got. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane. Perfect your lane. Grow yeah. in your lane. And research your lane. Yeah. That's how you get to the next level. You, you'll start looking for things that, that to where you can try to get ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. Versus following the trends, yeah. You 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 can't make it the next level following the trends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna man. sizzle out real quick, real quick, real, real quick. quick, and you get burned out. Yeah, yeah. That that reminds me. I just watched the um, 
a video either yesterday or the day before yesterday, man. It's, um, shout out to Wealthy Minds, man. Um, young guy, I follow, I follow, been following him for some couple, couple of years now. Um, lived out of his car, homeless, moved to Cali. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and long story short, it blew up. You know, on this positive tip. You know, it, it's his brand. It's called Wealthy Minds, right? Mm. Like like. This young man, bro, like, this dude just tricked out the new Jeep, bro. Like, I'm talking about, like, new vehicle just straight tricked out. Like, mm. his his colors is like purple and gold, right? So we're talking about successes in the details, right? Mm -hmm. And so he was actually um, dropping, like, little tidbits. So he, like, he was like, well, I don't want y'all just to see the finished product. I want y'all to see the process, too. Right. So, like, when he first, when he picked up the Jeep, when he when he started adding little pieces on, when he got it painted, mm -hmm. you know, then when he when he got the rims and, and so he was like, you know, and so last I wanna say maybe last night or the night before, um he put up the finished product. And I'm like, <laughs> Bro did that. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to send it to y'all. I'm 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 gonna have, I'm gonna have yeah, to send I gotta it. See this. I'm gonna have to send it to y'all. Like like, I like see this. he got the four Giados on though. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, with 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 the with the with the, with the, with the gold in it, and, and uh, bro, like like it's like it's though, and, and in the video he's talking about he like, in the in the video before that where he pretty much had the the truck wrapped and painted and stuff, but he didn't have the rims on it yet. Mm -hmm. He had like um, part of the undergirts um, painted, but not all of it. So he was talking about. Um, Painting the axle, you know, I got, to, I still got to get the axle. I got to get this bar painted. Right. And he was, and he was just talking about man, the details. He's like, it's all in the details, y'all. It's all in the details. And like when he, bro, what I'm telling, when he, I'm gonna have to send y'all when he, when he put that finished truck up on Instagram, bro. I'm like, I don't even like stuff like that, but I like that. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I like that. You know, cause he paid attention, like every. every there was nothing on that vehicle that he did not put attention to. Mm. And so when he put that thing on the road, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna draw attention. Okay, yeah. so okay, so he, he he was driving, what's his name again? Uh, Wealthy Minds is his brand. Okay, so my, my bro Wealthy Minds was driving, he took his Jeep to, to a shop to get tricked out, right? Mm -hmm. So he's paying for his Jeep to get tricked out. Mm -hmm. So he getting the finished product, but it's people who's inside of the shop who's working on his his his, mm -hmm. his joint, mm -hmm. and they have to be really attentive to every little thing to make mm -hmm. sure everything is is on point. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So when Doug was talking about being attentive or, uh, you know, look, you know your details, like mm -hmm. watching your details and going to the next level and stuff like that. And this is just in my personal life, right? And I'm I'm gonna tie it in in a sec. Like when you when you are at a moment to where you have to be really detailed, the people who are painting his brake pads on Wealthy Minds Jeep and doing the small detail stuff, it's a time to where they have to rest in order so when they go in there, they can be fully detailed. Mm -hmm. So it's a period of time where you gotta take a chill, you gotta chill and get rest so when it's time you be really detailed, you can be laser focused. Because yeah. if you're not rested, if you're not rested, bro, you're going to be half doing stuff. It's yeah. going to be sloppy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a part, of being really, a part of being really detailed um, while you're grinding and trying to get to that next level, this is, this is just me. Like I said, I ain't mm -hmm. no philosopher, bro. This is what I've just been going mm -hmm. through and just been like, and God been like, Baby food me mm -hmm. in this area. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You dig it? Just, yeah. just real spill. Like, if if you're not real rested when you're going through your details, you're gonna be stumbling over stuff and half doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. ever seen somebody with fake Jordans on? Mm-hmm. The jump man be leaning. <laughs> <laughs> the stitch and be all hanging out. It's not. They didn't take their time with it. It looked like somebody was rushing. It looked like they really didn't care. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you I try not to get sued, I trying to get sued. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. hey, just put this, this over here. Jump man, yeah. one degree. The jump man <laughs> like this. The jump man like this. The jump man had one too many hamburgers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real. So 
<laughs> and that fine print, bro, you got it. It's, it's it's real detail. It's real detail in that yeah. fine print. And, yeah. And, and yeah. you got it. You got that that rest time is really important in that mm -hmm. fine yeah. print. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because in order to be really detailed, you have to be rested and ready for it. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. goes to, to like a little bit what we talked about in the last um, segment of uh, self awareness. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you got to know when to pull back. You know, exactly. like I have, I have days where I just don't do nothing. Like literally, I have to put that on the calendar. Like, okay, this day I'm not doing nothing, and I don't do nothing. Cause rest is a part of the grind. You have to. It is. That, just like working out. How, how you gonna get your, yourself full, full, full? Right. Like, yeah. The full version of you. And me, I, yeah. you know what? I don't know about nobody else, but you know what I'm saying. When sometimes when you feel like you're not where you need to be. It's like you don't even want to rest. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta know. But if yeah. you, you need to. Sometimes you just gotta get silent with yourself. Mm -hmm. You're like, you need to take a rest and slow. Like, how do you expect mm -hmm. to like if you, if your schedule, if you wake mm -hmm. up by five o'clock in the morning, you pray, you read, you bubba bum, you bubba, you doing this, you doing that, and you might go to bed until eleven thirty that that same night, and you have those days where you might do that four times a week. Mm -hmm. And but on that Friday, your schedule might be clear for a reason. Take a chill pill, mm -hmm. lean back in the recliner, don't go to the gym. Because guess what? Next week you might have a five or four week stretch again. That one day was for those extra four days that you're going hard in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes you you ever you ever read something in the morning. When you waking up, you all you all cloudy, you but you trying to read. But mm -hmm. later on that day, you might go back and skim back over it, and now you more adjusted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not like now you more adjusted. Now you more like you iron things out. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you mm -hmm. able to comprehend what you're reading. Like you, you, that, it's like you feed on it differently. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So yeah, yeah. It, it's just like working in the gym. You got to rest. If you don't rest your body, how can you expect your muscles to grow? Right. You know what I'm saying? And so. And I think one of the misconceptions of the of, of the human being is we don't we don't do the things necessary to develop the most important tools in our life, which is our mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So your mind is the probably the most important thing on your body because when that shuts down, it shuts everything. It's the control system of your whole it whole is. mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of your whole body rather. So at the end of the day, um, if if you don't allow that to rest because of overload, right? Because I heard somebody say, I can't remember who it was, even with the word grind, right? right. Say grind is really not a good word. Because when you grind, you're going to wear yourself out. Think about grinding gears. You grind gears, you're going to grind them gears, you're going to wear them out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at the, at the end of the day, we have to know at what time we need to pull back on. You're exactly right, bro. At the end of the day, you, gotta, you got to know. You have to know it's imperative, like, especially like with women, like, because women are women are built different. They're caregivers, right? Mm -hmm. And so even though we're we're set up to like to be the provider, you know, the workhorse, so to speak, but at the same time, they're one just in a different light. They're caregivers. They're always going. They're always moving, right? right. And you know, when mom, um, you know, you know, was alive and things like that, and she would be like, you know, man, I'm, whew, I, I'd be like, well, I'm gonna sit down. Rest. Like, like, no, I like no, I got to do this. I got to do. It's going to be there when you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be there regardless. Exactly. You know, even my wife, she do. She, my wife and my mom have, she got a lot of similarities of my mom. I would have to, and she just, love you, babe, but she be, she, she, she be hard headed sometimes. I'd be like, babe, I got it. Just chill, right? But I got to, I got to, I got to. And I, I've done it. I've done the same thing. She'd be like, babe, just go chill. I'd be like, but no, I gotta. I gotta. I but, gotta. See, but, you, but when the person say, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, that means they done read, like, they done read the, the fine print, and they're like, okay, now, okay, I know if I want this result, I'm going to have to do this, 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 and this. But right. I just said that because, like I say, everybody, everybody, who want success in different areas of their life or different trades or whatever the case may be. Yeah. It's a fine print to whatever that, like whatever you're trying to achieve, it's a fine print to it. So mm -hmm. I don't know what everybody's success or 
goals and stuff like that. But I do right. know this. For everybody who's trying to get to the other side of success, mm -hmm. rest is in the fine print. Oh, yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's the yeah. littlest. Wait, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. supposed yeah. to chill? Yes, you're supposed to yeah. chill. You're yeah. supposed to over grind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know Jesus what I'm saying? Jesus if, if, trust like, me. If you don't shut down, your body yeah. will make you shut down. Exactly. Yeah. I've experienced that, bro. I've like, I've stayed up, quote unquote, grinding mm -hmm. for 24 hours. Like no sleep, just straight. Like I was in grind mode. It was like I just I gotta get it. I'm doing it. I'm creating, right, bro? I said I'll never do that again in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I forgot how many days it just took my. It took me to snap back in somewhat called normalcy. Like I felt it for like days. Yeah, you can't function. No, you, you can't no. function at all. Your mind no. shut down, it's cloudy. It's no, and so and we read the stories, you know, especially like these artists when they go on tour, they be up for days on end performing and then so-and-so passed out, they're in the hospital. Your body wasn't meant to do that. Exactly. You know, even God himself rested after yeah. creating mankind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Like, I'm chilling, man. I did all that work like, in six uh, days, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. chilling on the seventh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Kick out my shoes. So, yeah, and, and, and I, you know, and, and definitely, I would say, like, and encourage the people too is, is like, like, what is success, really? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of times we may even chase something and don't even know what it is. You're chasing the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, mm -hmm. like, Everybody have to define their own definition of success. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? But however, in retrospect to what it is you feel like your purpose to do or want to do, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, because in, in, in my world, right, this is just me talking for me. In my world, right. success ain't the house. Success ain't the car. Success ain't the, the woman the, or the kid. To, to me, success is just doing what you said you was going to do. Finished product. Finished product at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if 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 I said I'm gonna do X Y Z for my wife, and I don't do X Y Z for my wife, I wasn't a success. Because I didn't do what I said I was gonna do. If I said I was gonna take a rest, because I've been grinding for six days, and I'm gonna rest on the seventh day, and I find myself not resting on the seventh day, and then guess what? I wasn't a success. Mm -hmm. But just like I was telling my daughter when she asked about the failure situation, like how do you deal with fear of failing? And at the end of the day, you gotta understand that, you know, for, first of all, failure is, is a part of the process. You don't run away from it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 know what I'm saying? you, you have to embrace it, but, do. and a lot of people struggle with that. So when I told her, I was like, baby, you asked a legitimate question. A lot of people struggle with that because, and I say, well, you gotta remember this, failure is an event, not a person. Mm -hmm. It's just like a party or an event or whatever. It's for in a lot of a lot of time, right? right? You go to an event, you go to a venue. It's from one to three, and from one to three, the event goes on, and then you go home. So you got to treat failure the same way. It's an event. You can't consider yourself a failure. No, you didn't be. You didn't reach the success you was looking for in that situation. Exactly. But you yourself is not a failure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That may have not succeeded that that may have failed but you yourself are not a failure but it you use that as fuel to help you get to the next step in your life exactly because if you didn't fail like that you might have wouldn't have been successful at the next thing if you didn't fail at that relationship and then understand that well you know i was looking for love in all the wrong places or they did me dirty or i was just trying to overlook or i was trying to change that you can't change nobody nope you can influence a person and you, you get that a lot in the dating space, you know, especially, um, you know, with, with us as guys and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, with the, with the woman, you know, they thinking that they can change the man or the man thinking that they can change the woman. Exactly. And then at the end of the day, you ended up in a relationship that wasn't successful. It wasn't the fact that you, you were not successful, it's just that relationship failed because you didn't read the fine print. The fine print, yeah. And you I, I, also, I also look at failure teaches you a lot, of, a lot more things than the success of things. Yeah, yeah, because I would agree. Yeah. That that gives you gateway to figure things out and mm -hmm. see like, okay, well it didn't work like this. What if I do X, Y, Z? Mm -hmm. But A, B, C didn't come together. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do A, B, D. Mm -hmm. Oh, that worked. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you can't figure out 
and and mm-hmm. that comes with growth. Yeah. Like that's the importance of growth. Mm-hmm. Like you can't grow if you're always successful at something. Right. You can't learn what you know now back then if right. you didn't go through the failure part right. of that process. Right. I tell my brother all the time, I was like, man, I wouldn't change the process of nothing for for, for nothing in the world because we learn how to do graphics, mm-hmm. learn how to record audio, engineer yep. our own music, mm-hmm. learn how to produce. Yep. Like we're pretty much a one stop shop. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if we was always successful at all those things and not fail at any yeah. of those areas, how do yeah. you learn? How do you grow? Yeah. 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 You, you stay stagnant. Yeah. You know what? Can I just be like honest real quick? And Thanks. I don't know if, if anybody else, I'm just to be honest, bro, um, I had to pull myself. I had to. I had to. Uh, I had to fall in love with something different, right? I, I had to fall out of love with something and fall in love with something else. Mm-hmm. What I mean by that is, like, I had to strategically reread. Uh, okay, so. Um, we all know reading is fundamental, bam, mm-hmm. all right? So when you read something, this is why comprehension is so important. That's why lawyers are so important, because you can put a document in front of a person who don't know these, these big fancy terms and what this means, these clauses and stuff like that, right. and mm-hmm. you would get bamboozled. You know what I'm saying? You would right. get... Uh, uh, hoodwink. <laughs> you would get bamboozled. <laughs> you would get hoodwink, right? Then you got so, God. So the lawyers, they understand. They can. They understand um, uh, the fine print. They understand yeah. what these things mean. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when I'm, as I'm reading my fine print on what's gonna take me from here to here, and uh, my comprehension of what I thought I was reading was different. So I find I found myself. Falling in, falling in love with the outcome mm-hmm. right. instead of the process mm-hmm. of what can turn me. If and I noticed, like I said, I'm just I'm just saying, I noticed that if I the more the more and more and more that I fall in love with the process of me becoming, mm-hmm. then that means you can drop me in any situation. Mm-hmm. And if I am, mm-hmm. then I can produce. Then right. I can have, you know what I'm saying? Right. So instead of me falling in love with uh, what the money can get, how about you fall in love with you knowing how to make the money? Right. Or you knowing exactly. how to become that person and you right. knowing how to become an influencer. So that means I can go to corporate America here or there. It doesn't right. matter. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I got the tools in order for the make sure this comes to pass. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I had to revoke myself mm-hmm. from and rebuke myself, bro, straight mm-hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? From hey, I want the fine honey with the long, with the um, with the cream skin, with the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and they got the crib with the and he on the lake, uh, they on the bay. How about what people like that? Uh, women like that? Uh, things like that that come with a certain grind, that come with a certain mindset. So you can want that all day, but if you ain't got what it takes to get it, then you want to acquire it. Right. Facts. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So, right. Facts. So, right. So just. I had to I had to make sure that I was comprehending my fine print correctly. Right. Like this, this not what you think it is. This right. is not so you can get that. This so you can. This is so. God is like, bro. This is so you can turn into who I'm calling you to turn into. Mm-hmm. So therefore, anywhere you go. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. I think that's the that that's the big thing right there yeah. like not yeah. like you turn it you you fall in love with who you turn it into not but what you can attain yeah. from from what you turn it into that may that, may, uh, yeah. that makes yeah. a lot of sense yeah, yeah. because people look for the end result and want the end result but don't want to yeah. go through the process of yeah. being the end result that they yeah. desire yeah so yeah oh and guess what and and, and and here is the and here is the nasty thing about it. it's nasty bro it's nasty it's nasty <laughs> I, 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 look it's nasty because people are doing immoral things to get the end result, but you don't know. So you want what somebody else got, but they toxic, and they really didn't do the work needed to attain mm-hmm. what it, what they they didn't turn they didn't they didn't prune certain stuff off. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't go through certain transformations. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 
like you know what I'm saying to to become that to become that person they need to become mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so you want what they got but you're actually becoming a solid individual right exactly right like you're becoming a person right. who people can lean on right all the time right you know what I'm saying right. versus you you want what she she only with him because of what he got mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to be that but you want to be you that know what person? I'm saying but <laughs> If a if a guy with no cash came around her and he was a nice, genuine, he wasn't no simp. Don't get me wrong. We ain't no. We, we, we ain't. We not doing that. But he was a nice, solid individual. He was. He showed her a different character. She gonna be gone, bro. Cause he can always work on getting the guap. Mm, yeah. It's hard to work on who you becoming as a person. Yeah. So I had to. I had just had to review my my fine print. Like I like yo. You need right. to review this thing. Like this is not why. Mm -hmm. um, this is not why. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's it's very important, man. And that's why we have to understand that we're mm -hmm. we're called human beings for a reason. <laughs> you know, not human becoming. Exactly. You know, because we're constantly being what we're supposed to be shaped and, and formed into. And constantly evolving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Constantly. Mm -hmm. And that's and the, but here's the crazy thing, though. That can go both ways. That can be yeah. good or bad. That's Who true. are you being? Are you being somebody of good character like you was talking about? Yeah, like you don't really understand exactly. like the toxicity yeah. that yeah. they carried in getting what they got, but then you want what they got. So, but now you're turning into the same person that this person is, but not knowing or, or realizing that that person was toxic yeah. during exactly. the whole process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Toxic. Yeah. Who's can corrupt good character? Yeah. yeah. Toxic. You yeah. have to be careful who you hang around. Yeah. If you ain't strong enough, you'll start being like them versus them being like you. Yeah, yeah. It's a, influence is very powerful. Very, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's very powerful, man. And I think that's why um, you guys are able to, to hold the space that you held for so long. You know what I'm saying? Because we always self-evaluating ourselves. Oh, yeah. Even even having the hard conversations and when and we could tell when we be done pissed each other off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without even saying the whole word, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and not yeah. even falling yeah. out with each other. We just exactly. and that comes with ma maturity. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got some friends like that that yeah, we be okay. in conversations outside of y'all, and okay, the situation just went left, <laughs> yeah. but nobody said nothing. But the atmosphere changed. Yeah, you know, facial expressions changed. Yeah. Body but, language. Body language change yeah. everything, but we done been around each other long enough that you know what, we ain't finna fall out, let's change the subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna have to revisit this at another time, cause right now ain't nobody feeling nobody right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not a bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Reading the fine print, the details, you know, exactly. your atmosphere, when you walk into it, do you light up the room or do it get dark? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do people flock to you or do they flock away from you? Mm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and, and be truthful with it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's and like... You, you can't hide it either. It's, it, you, it's, it is what it's, it is. It's like a red, it's like a red alarm just <laughs> dying and out. Mm. You know, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm a human being who God called me to be. I'm not there. I'm yeah. being. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a room for, for graces. You know, Bob says, with all that getting, what? Get understanding. Get understanding. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta, we gotta understand each other. I gotta understand the process. I gotta exactly. understand who, who is this person I'm becoming? You know, I'm, 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 I'm becoming. You know, who is this person? You know, you don't know that person yet because you haven't became that person yet. Exactly. But everybody has a blueprint. You know what I'm saying? That we, we can follow, and you know, and do things of that nature, and then just make it your own. Exactly. Yeah. You know, because that's what people don't. People, I don't know how to read the blueprint. Listen, man. I remember, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. but when we was growing up, you know, we, we all we used to go to, to visit, um, and I think they still have them to the day called Parade of Homes. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, you had these nice, you know, we, we, you know, I didn't know we grew up until in the hood until I got older, everybody, you know, nice. you, you got the separation, you Thanks. know, in the hood, the tracks, you know. Got hoods, man, man, got I just, man, but we live where we live. I just knew where we live, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, but, you know, then, you know, but, when you know our parents desired to to move hold up, up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. you said you didn't know you was in the hood. No, not as a kid, but because I, it wasn't presented that way. Oh wow! And well. that shows you the importance of the of your upbringing and what's being instilled and taught to you. Yeah, it's your mindset. Oh, true. Hey, it wasn't presented that way, bro. Oh, 
Like we knew we was in the hood. Like I didn't, you know. <laughs> bro, we did. I mean, like all of exactly. our all of our family, we yeah, lived within up. two to three minutes of each other. Oh yeah. You know, with yeah, the exception yeah. of a few aunts that was probably five minutes away from Just from where we were. The tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, we we had our friends that we hung out with. Yeah. Our, our cousins we hung out with was more like brothers and sisters and not exactly. cousins. We we grew up together. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Very so close. it was like, I, it was when me and my wife were going through hard times in our marriage that my mom would open up and share at the right time that it was needed. That day, baby, there was time we didn't have food in the refrigerator. What? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? We, I, I didn't that. know that. Like, but, but, yeah. Because I'm going through now. Mom's feel, Mama Bell feel like you know my son need to know this information now because yeah. he going through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, baby, uh, there was time we didn't have food in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. I went, I went and prayed, and then there was a knock on the door or there was a phone call. She said every time it never failed. Yep. And so all this hood talk, bro. We didn't know that till we got older because exactly. we didn't see it. We, you know what I'm saying? We we didn't we, we yeah that's good that's you know what I'm we we did, we, we, we didn't see it so yeah, that's good. we used to go to these to these places because you know they desired you know of course they knew mm-hmm. we did but yeah. they desired more so we would go visit these parade of homes with these nice subdivisions suburbs yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> you know and and as a family we would go and pack up exactly and we would drive around and look at these nice big houses and just dream. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's that's what we did. But I'm sitting there and I'm looking at these plans as mom and, and dad looking at these plans. I'm looking at the plan. I'm like, man, what in the world is this? <laughs> I'm seeing all these lines and numbers. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I, but it's the blueprint of the, of the house. And, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it's only till I got to it to be an adult, not even a teenager. It, it wasn't until years into me being an adult that I can look at a house plan and be like, oh, okay, I get it now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we have to be mindful enough to understand that whoever creates the blueprint for that, that it is what it is, and you have to trust that that's what it is, and you may have to formulate it to your own lifestyle, but exactly. the blueprint is a blueprint. You cannot build something without a blueprint. Period. Period. And having a foundation. Period. Even if you start your own business, you have to have a blueprint. What does your business look like? Even if you just write it down on a piece of paper. Even if you don't have the lingo it, or the spreadsheet. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the, the but you got the vision. You the vision. You know what I'm saying? You the vision, but you got to relate that to people that, that can be attracted to what you have exactly. to help you build. But at the end of the day, you still got to have a blueprint. What does it look like? Well, I, I could tell you what it looked like. Okay, that's the blueprint. We'll figure everything else out on the way up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure out how we can get in contact with the mason and the bricklayers and, and, and the concrete guy and the electrical guy and the plumbing guy. We'll figure all that stuff out. But at the end of the day, I got to have a blueprint. Well, what's the blueprint? I want to build a house. Okay, well, who built the house? XYZ company built the house. Okay, well, let me go talk to XYZ company. So, so it's always, you can't get away from the blueprint. Mm. And so at the end of the day, Nobody man, we just like want to encourage the people, man, you know, find your blueprint, you know. I'm, I'm Big on mentorship, bro. I'm big. And we talked about that in the last yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm, I'm big on when we talk about successes in the details. Is there, is there a mentor or a coach in your life? Facts. And then you said something about, um, yeah, when, when, the, when we were talking about the wealthy minds and the guy, you know, he, yeah, he took it to the details, but he had to pay somebody for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be willing to, 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 to invest in your future. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Invest exactly. in a life coach. Invest in a financial coach. Invest in a relationship coach, even maybe. Yeah, he exactly. wanted something like he wanted something really detailed, so he took it. To he a took place. It to the specialist. Yeah, the specialist. The specialist, since they specialize in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They they know what it takes to make sure that what he won't come to pass. Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Whatever fine print with coming with painting cars or whatever, you know yeah. what it takes to get it done to make sure it, it, it happens the best possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that fine print is in there. But no matter if they painted three brake pads, a door ripped out the guts or the seats at, at night, 
they went home, they took a shower, and they rested. So mm-hmm. when they woke mm-hmm. up in the next, wake up the next day, they, they can be it. fully alert, yep. fully ready to go back at it again the next day. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think I think that's something we can talk about on the next podcast. Um, like the importance of mentorship, because like yeah. and understanding what it is, how to develop to being yeah. a human being. Yeah. In in that space and yeah. how to guide and direct, even those that may not want to listen. But I, I look at like even when I do shows, you look at people that mean mugging you, and they looking crazy. Then you got everybody engaged, but after the show, that per- that very person you thought wouldn't listen and wasn't paying attention be the very person that come up to you be like, hey man, yeah, I peep what you're saying. And you know yeah. what? Sometimes yeah. that, that game face be serious sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> hey, sometimes poker face you, I, I had to learn sometimes. that. <laughs> yeah, I had learned, it, it's just that's their learning. That's their learning phase. And yeah, you yeah. know what? Sometimes the person yeah. who's looking at you like they ain't paying attention. I learned that sometimes <laughs> they really not. <laughs> 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 they ain't trying to hear what you got to say. They don't, care. Yeah. they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, that's facts. But I, I had to learn facts. that, man. You can be like somebody like me mugging you, but it's just like that's the learn. I, 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 I've came across quite a few people. I was like, wait a minute. And then they came back and asked me, blah, 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 in order for them to ask me, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they had me listen, but I'm looking at them and they look like they mean mugging me right now, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. But, it, 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 but yeah, we definitely can, can uh, add that into the, to the repertoire, you know? Definitely. And, and um, but, you know, as we get ready to close this one out, man, and with some last minute comments and stuff like that, so. Um, fine print, hold on, fine print, give us, give us like, give us but, like, uh, like, 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 Give us like two things that'll help us with our farm print. Like after yeah. we read what we have to do or need to change, yeah. like what steps can we take uh, to change those mm. things? And, and how can, and, and what can you tell us, um, uh, like what can you tell us to make sure that we are in the right mind frame that we can yeah. read the fine print? Like how do we like, yeah. how like how can we, like how do we know what's fine print in our life? Yeah, yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? Like how, like, yeah. how, like how can we figure out what we need to change? You feel me? Yeah, mm. yeah, man, that's, mm. go ahead, dog. Go ahead, you, dog. Bro, I'm just itching. When you were saying all that, I'm thinking about the lawyer content. Like who, your, your mentor is like your lawyer. Mm. Allow him to read over that contract of your life, mm. the point out, no. Mm-mm. No, this ain't good. So you need trusted people in your circle, basically. Trust the people in your okay. circle that's doing right by you. That's okay. definitely one of the things right. that that right. allow them to look at the okay. proof of your contract of life. Fine print. Did, right. Did you read the fine print? Right. Oh, I didn't even see that. Right. 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 Because we mirror each other. Now I'm I'm gonna actually take it a step further than that. Go ahead, brother. I just wanted to and, shoot you in alley hoop. You know because <laughs> and the only reason I say that is because the way the climate is today. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to listen to nobody. Mm. I, I I am who I am. You know, this is how I do. This is how I move. And like, oh man, I read a post. Oh, bro. <laughs> I read a post. <laughs> it wasn't this morning or yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember. I'm trying to remember, see if I can remember what the post was about. And I would just begin to read the post and everybody would just... um was just going in. It was in regards to like relationships and possibly mentorship to that extent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was a comment that was made that was really taken out of context because the women like went in, like I don't need nobody to point out something yep. or I don't need, um, uh, yeah. It was a young lady that was talking about um, that's that, People need people in their lives, exactly what you just said, Mm -hmm. to point out things that shouldn't be in your life to make your life better, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And so basically, and it was a female that said it. And basically, it was, I just stopped. It was a plethora of women that chimed in. It was like, I don't need nobody to tell me what's wrong with me. Basically, that's what they were saying. And they were saying, I don't. And basically, they was giving all these comments and basically saying, you know, well, you know, women don't hang around women no way because they can't get along. You know, it's like all everything. Like, I'm like, well, wow. So this is what y'all think? Like, so basically, you don't need to be held accountable for nothing. So, 
So the, the reason why I'm, I said I wanted to bring this up, you know, and and um, it, I hate to be the dead horse, bro. I hate to be this. I hate, but number one, bro, is self awareness, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has to be because yeah. if I don't see where I need help, I'm not gonna get it. And I ain't gonna know where I'm going. Oh yeah, okay, ten four. I see that, yeah. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, cause I, I I hate to be the dead horse, but at the end of the day, um, to read the fine print, how can I read the fine print if I'm blind? Hmm. So, and I want you to feel where I'm going with this. If I'm blind, then now there's another way that I have to learn, or I have to take in information so I learn Braille. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if I stay stuck on the fact that I lost my sight, then guess what? I can never learn to read in this new phase of my life because mm -hmm. in order for me to learn how to read, I gotta learn how to read Braille because I no longer have sight to read what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So now I have to acknowledge and, and be self-aware that I need help. But yeah. just like these people that was chiming in the comment, bro, if, if, I don't, if I don't feel I need help, I'm drowning financially, but I don't need to seek a financial advisor. Come on, bro. Come on, sis. How? <laughs> wow. How? Yeah. You know, I, I rely on my circle heavily. Oh, yeah. Now, there are certain, and the reason I say self-awareness, because you have to even be um, conscious enough to know enough about your circle that you know who to take what information to. Exactly. Because yeah. it may be something I can share with Dub that I can't share with you. True. Yeah. And it may be something I can share with you that, that I can't share with Dub. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm not, we spend so much time worrying about other people's problems that we never access our own. But we want success. How can I, how can I have success? I don't even know what I want. I want I'm, social media is telling me what I want. The radio is telling me what I want. Culture is telling me what I want. I'm not telling me what I want. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. to me, I think that's going to always be um, the number one thing is is that self awareness, man. What do I want? Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 it's just like, man, I can go so many ways with that, bro. Because like when you look at even today, like nobody wants to, nobody, everybody wants the baby, but nobody wants the wedding. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to be the baby. I'm quick to be the baby mama and the baby daddy, but nobody knows what it takes to be a husband or a wife and then when somebody tries to explain to you well who are you to tell me was what you, you understand what i'm saying i've spoken to women like a sideways lately bro to where they was like yo mm -hmm. i don't even want the paper the paper and even exactly my my marriage didn't uh, right we, 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 we got okay so right. divorce right right so, mm -hmm. um uh divorce so i still hold marriage really high Right. I love marriage, bro. I can't I can't right. I can wait to get married again. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I still value marriage, bro. Like it's yeah. marriage is beautiful. It's a beautiful, right. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. But lately I've been hearing women say, I don't even want the paper. Bro. Like if you yeah. just give me the ring, then we can be uh, if which if you if I'm not finna be putting four thousand dollars on your finger and then you don't drop your name on that line. Bro, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I know we on the tail end of this, but I'm so glad you brought that up, bro. Yes. Because I'm gonna show you just how important the paper is. Right? Mm. Now Teachers. I'm not gonna say no names, right? right? But in the entertainment industry, right? Death happens. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, since there were no paper involved, you have no access to what was left. Ooh. Because legally, there was no paper involved. So legally, it's just like a property. Read the fine print. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Success is in the. So, so to sit there and say mm -hmm. that, man, don't give me, and that's how this culture, and that's, that's, that's the culture that we live in. You know, yeah. It's not about family no more, it's about individuality. Yeah. So. It's, 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 it's like success is in the details. Read the fine print. The fine print. Okay. The, the paper's not important. Okay. Let that person that you've been with seven years, 10 years, 12 years happen. You know, God called a number and they happen to leave this place. And, and they got other family members, other kids. Mm -hmm. and, and guess who going to get what's left? Legally, the kids. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Your name wasn't on no paper. Yeah. 
But if your name was on that paper, mm-hmm. guess who would have got you? Yeah. Like <laughs> you, see, so. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. so, yeah. so it's, 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 it's self-awareness, man. It's like I would never come to the place where I don't need help. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You understand? Mm-hmm. Y'all are not motivational speakers, Mm-mm. but y'all are ministers. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's what it is. Speak it, brother. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Y'all, yeah, yeah. y'all, y'all, sure, y'all yeah. message. Yeah, for sure, yeah. I accept. Yeah, for sure, yeah. For you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, 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 I'm interested, you know, look, you, you know, yeah, I'm licensed, I'm ordained and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, what, what is a minister? You know, they, 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 mm-hmm. they've been given the administration to administrate the gospel. You know what I'm saying? So, God's but messages. y'all do more than administrate the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mm-hmm. administrate life too. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure, yeah. So I would be a fool not to listen to any advice that y'all would have to say about something because I've been around y'all for so long. Mm-hmm. It's balanced. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Balanced. So I mean, number one, bro, I know it was a long, long segment, but to answer that question, but I, I just feel that's a problem in today's culture, man. Like we are blinded truly by not really self assessing ourselves properly. And so, and that goes back to what Dub talked about. That goes back with the upbringing. Like, I drilled my kids, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like. No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> I drilled my, like, like, no, you don't like to read? I don't care. You're going to read this book. Yep. You don't have a, you don't, it, when, when you have been given the tutelage of training a child, you have the responsibility to put them in the realm of success. What they do when they get older is beyond your control. Mm-hmm. But until they become of age to that age of 18, Legally, they have to do what you say. You're their parent. Yeah, because you have to teach them. You have to teach them. You have mm-hmm. to teach them, bro. When you get older, you're going to find out. Right. It's going to be a whole bunch of fine print. You're going to have to right. read. Then what you, <laughs> right. Yeah, you want that female? Right. There's certain yeah. things that you right. have to, this is how know. you go about it the right way. If you, right. You want to be, you want to play college football. We go out there with the um, Arbondale, the, blue, the Bloodhounds. We go out there. We, when, when you when they're in there watching film, which yep. I know a lot of players don't like watching film. I don't know why. I, I never watched it. I'm not, I'm not an athlete, so I don't know why. I used to like but I heard it's boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's part of the, 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 that's part of that's the, part of the, the fine the print. print. You know what I'm saying? I think, um, I think Kobe, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Um, I think Mamba said he used to watch like over and over, watch Jordan over and over. You know what I'm saying? I Man, heard, he was a spinning image, bro. Oh, I heard yeah. I heard LeBron James used to watch film way back in the way back in the day. Yep. It's, it's part of the fine print. If you want this type of like 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 and we and we do music, you, you speak in, in um yeah. finance and stuff like that. So that that's your feel, that's your realm. But we speaking just in general, like yeah. exactly. whatever you do in your success, exactly. it's a blueprint and it yeah. is fine print for yeah. to make sure you get the best results yeah. out of the fruit. That's it, bro. That's it. Yeah. That's it, bro. And, and you just you, you have know to push what yourself. The fine print is. Yeah. yeah, you have to push yourself to do what you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. You have to because I, I've done it. We've all done it. We, Contract in front of your face, you just sign off on it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't <laughs> you, even read. It. And be praying, be like, "Watch your whole face." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sign you you go, I mean, you go sign a mortgage, man. They bring you like three encyclopedias to sign, and you got to sit there and sign and sign what seemed like a thousand sheets of paper. And they know ain't nobody gonna sit there and read every page. And they can, you could be signing your, you could be signing your house away. You don't know it because exactly. they know nobody's going to take the time to read their country. So I think, you know, we, we just got to, uh, number one, we, we, we got to um, self-assess. And then number two, we got to do the things that we don't want to do. Yeah, doing that now. <laughs> you got to do the things. My, like, like, prime example is, like, my daughter, like, which is, like, you know, she started her nail business and stuff like that. So she's now, uh, and, like, what I do with my kids, like, even though I've trained them um, because I was in the financial industry on certain stuff, Mm-hmm. Um, I I noticed at a young t- at a young age that it was just certain stuff that was just over their head, so I pulled back. Yeah. And I'll say, and I told my wife, I said, well, what I'm gonna do is I'll just stick with the basics of this, blah blah blah. I said, but when it comes to like taxes and and you know social security, investing and stuff like that, I say, I say, yeah, well, you know, we'll probably we'll have that conversation when they start acquiring money because right now they're looking at me like a deer in headlights. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? So. It, it when they actually got it in hand, now I can explain it. It makes sense. So now that she's excited about starting this particular business, because yeah. she's you know she's done some other stuff, but now that she's excited with this one, 
now she wants to read books on finance. And so I gave her some of my books to start off with that I thought was a good right. foundation piece, right? So, mm -hmm. and I was telling about my oldest daughter. Like my oldest daughter, um, same thing. I would make her read certain stuff. But then it's like you can't, you can't allow your child to wear you out. You have to wear them out. Yeah. Because yeah. I would go to her and say, have you read such and such? No. Okay, well, I'm not going to leave you alone until you read it because I need you to read this. And But see, what we do, we get frustrated and be like, forget it. No. You're the parent. <laughs> you're the teacher. You're the mentor. Mm -hmm. So I leave it alone. I come back to her. Hey, have you read such and such? No, sir. You need to read that. I'll leave it alone again. Yeah. And guess what? She didn't, my oldest daughter, the, the books that I've told her to read, she didn't read to her senior year in high school. Now check this out, right? And I just, I told my youngest daughter this last night. I said, because I had been gave her these books, yeah. but she didn't find no interest in reading them. But now she has a reason because now she's excited about this business. I need to learn about finance. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I had to take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it ain't the fact that I did not allow her, not allow her to read. It just I waited on the right time to, to because at the end of the day, oh, she was going to read that book. Yeah, 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 for sure. yeah. <laughs> because it's like, no, you need to read this. Because, yeah. you know, like I said, in her oldest, the oldest daughter, my oldest daughter, when she was, mm -hmm. um, when she finally decided to read the book, she ended up writing a paper on it in school her senior year when she read the book. And guess what? She got an A on the paper. And then came to me and said, you know, Dad, that was a pretty good book. I, I liked it, Dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's... it's, exactly. it's Doing that things that we don't want to do because you don't want to read that fine print because it's like eh, I don't feel like reading all of that. I'm just gonna sign off on it. So it's just it's, it's you know it's just a simple doing the things that you don't want to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's that's just that's what success does. And that's the doorway opening to doing things that they don't want to do to to go through with their business. Right. So that's important. Yeah. And what you, you don't want to do? Okay, I I can't I can't want it more for you than you want well, it for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Point it, blank. man. Success is in the details, man. You gotta read the fine print. For read sure. The fine so print. so did I did I? Yeah, you did. did I yeah, execute? You, yeah. yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> he that. Yeah, yeah, cause I be cause okay. I be I be asking for me too, like you, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, we chop it up on a yeah. personal level, so yeah. it's oh, not yeah. all I, the time. I'm not out here just. Asking yeah. questions for just no, nah, I'm, I'm <laughs> soaking up. Know, yeah, I'm we, soaking we all, up too. Like I'm taking notes myself, bro. Cause yeah, we we grow from one another, man. That's yeah, that's exactly. no one person. Tomorrow. No one person has it all. You know what I'm saying? So when I say success is in the details, and I'm talking to people about this stuff, man, it's like at the end of the day, you got to be comfortable to be in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, my my brand, um, shift motivator, right? Um, that came to me because I've experienced a lot of trauma in my life, you know, change, you know, forced change, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So when God gave me that, it resonated with me because mm -hmm. I always had to shift my way out of a certain situation. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know, whether, whether I caused it <laughs> or, or whether life caused it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and, and, yeah. and so that's the whole meaning behind the brand, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I had to do what I had to do to get to where I had to go, you know what I'm exactly. saying? And so... Um, when I'm learning all of this stuff, man, I'm taking in from every which way, everybody, every everything, everything and everybody, every situation, and not coming in like saying I can't learn from you because da da da. And that's why I stay in my lane. So exactly. when um, when I was you know being coach and I had my coach and it was like, well, Mike, man, why don't you know? Because you know being in the financial industry, you know that's really that's how I got into this. You know that's a story for another day, but. Um, it was like he was like, man, he's like, man, he's like, like, I like what you're doing, man. Like, like, why don't you um and I hear what you're saying about your story and everything. He's like, well, why don't you call yourself the financial shift motivator? Now here's this guy that is like one of the top motivational speakers in the whole world. Like, wow. like great guy, man. And oh man, one of the best speakers in the nation, bro. Like, like he that dude for real. <laughs> like, and you know, and um, and I'm like, I'm telling this guy no. You know what I'm saying? In this situation, because it's like I don't. I'm I'm trying to come out of this life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody saw me as the money guy, right? So I'm trying to come out of this life because I'm more than money. That's one aspect of it. Yeah. Not the you, aspect. You, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and it's like people would put me in that box and they would agitate me. 
know what I'm saying? Because it's like, man, I'm I'm more than money. It's like, you know, I know what y'all say, but at the end of the day, y'all don't don't label me that because I'm more than that. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a certain knowledge. And and at certain times I had a certain amount of money, you know what I'm saying, that I, I had acquired from my job and investing and stuff like that. And then there was times where I lost a lot of money mm-hmm. and I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul, you know, yep. shifting <laughs> once again. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know, you know, okay. you know. You know, okay. you, what, yeah. you know, you you go come in make it, you know, fifty thousand dollars one year. The next day, you, you got no job. Like, yeah. <laughs> you you know. say shifting. Okay, yeah. Yo, know, yeah, I've been through a lot of shifts, man. So when God gave mm-hmm. me that, I had to be true to it, you know. I, and I, that because I felt that was my truth. Exactly. You know, and so I I, I politely declined, and I say, you know what, man, I, I appreciate that, but I just if I feel if I bring myself out as the financial shift motivator, and there is a lot more to me than that, then everybody's only gonna book me that wants to talk about money, and I don't wanna talk about just money. So that self-assessment and being attentive to the detail, Mm -hmm. it can change the trajectory of your life. It can. You know, like what if really I would have stuck, and I was, you know, here's this guy, he got all the accolades, he got every right to suggest that, because of my background, but in, in me, it was like, no, there's more. And so when we're talking to you guys today, we just want to encourage you for those people that are saying that there's more, there is more. It's up to you to go get it. Yeah. You be true, be true to yourself and go get mm-hmm. what you're feeling that more is. Because a lot of you know what that more is. You more is, you're just afraid to go out and go get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, at the end right. of the day, here's a guy that's very reputable. You know, doing very well, and to this day is still killing it. Fact. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. What that's not, no, I'm I'm not fit to put myself in a box like that because I'm limiting what people see me at. Because soon as they go to my website or look at my post and they say the financial shift motivator, automatically they're gonna talk about money. So if the seminar isn't about finances or money, then guess what? I don't have a seat at the table. Okay, so okay, you so that out of a lot of opportunities. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so if I went to your website right now, what would I see on there? You gonna see the shift motivator. You gonna see. You gonna see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see no financial shift motivator. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, basically, you know, help helping helping people embrace the change that is necessary to create momentum for success. That's exactly. what you are gonna see. So tell me, cause so tell me about the book, bro. So. Yeah, man, we always like to close out, man. And we got, um, I'm going to make sure with this episode, man, we missed out on the last one. So, um, you know, but Wanda and Alexander got some things that, that they, they want to share as well. But, you know, the Blueprint to Success, um, a student's got line to successful living is out right now. Go cop that book. Um, don't let the title fool you. Um, and once again, a student, a student is just somebody that sits some, up under somebody and that learns. Right. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, um, yes, I am targeting um, the academic stu- student, but I'm also targeting people like you and I, the forever learning student that consider themselves a student no matter how old they get. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're talking about how to develop the right mindset, got tools in here to help you do that. You know, how to develop the right relationships, how to how to develop the right activities, you know, because I always say success is an inside job. It's not because if you tie success to something external, then when you lose it, guess what's going to happen? You're going to feel like you're not being successful. So if success comes from the inside. Then no matter what you do, no matter where you are, you're going to always feel like you're a success. If you got a million dollars in the bank, you're going to feel like you're a success. If you got negative ten dollars in the bank, you're going to feel like you're a success because it's a mindset and not a state, not a not a house and not a car right yeah so you know don't get fooled by the title man go cop that um i got a lot of great reviews um off of it from students as well as adult matter of fact um i had a parent um hit me up that um bought actually bought the book for their son but they ended up reading the book before they gave it to their son and i i actually do have a couple videos on my website explaining what i just said right and so um and she actually sent me everything that I said in a nutshell without, without even actually watching the video. Because she, she, put, she put in an, an, um, 
in her message to me, she said, I would recommend this book to anybody, not just a student. She said, because I even learned something from it. And I was like, and, and wow. And then and I, you know, some people, some people, cause, and I got it. What I did, I didn't do chapters. I did sections. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a quick read. You know what I'm saying? It gets straight yeah. to the point. Um, if you're having a problem with relationships, you can take the foundation of what I put in here. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I talk about that. I, I, got a, I got a section in here called Build Your Squad. And I, and I talk about how we grew up. Exactly. You know, we used to pick teams, right? And how do we pick teams, right? You had a <laughs> system for picking a team, and, and whoever the captain was, they picked who they wanted on their team based upon their skill set, right? Mm -hmm. So I talk about that in the book. That has ability to, to go over to you maybe while you keep picking the wrong guy or the wrong girl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not reading their fine skill print. set properly. You're not paying attention to the fine print. Fine fine print. print. Brand. So you know, it's a lot of it's some nuggets in this book, man. It's it's, it's I got a lot of great reviews. So go check it out. Um, www.shiftmotivations.com forward slash b2s. Um, you can go check out. Give you everything. Um, also, we have the Blueprint to Success mixtape. Um, has myself, boy, one to Alexander on there. You know, I, I take care of the motivation and the empowerment. And these guys giving you that fire uh, from the artistry standpoint. You know, it's produced. Solely by us, the only person that touched it outside of us was the engineer for the mix and the mastering. So great project, y'all go check it out. So um, got to give it over to my boy Alexander, man. I love him, bro, bro, bro. I'm feeling that merch, man. I know it's coming, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Tell them, okay, tell them real quick. Yeah, Kendrick Valley, man. Uh, me, Diamond Air Certificate. Shout out to my boy Diamond, baby Noah is here. I'm gonna go holler at my man's, uh, not tonight, tomorrow, my little nephew, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. But, um, yeah, so KB, we got the merch coming, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, Alexander Hall. I am Alexander Hall, A-L-X-N-D-R-H-A-L-L. -L. Facebook is the same thing. Uh, Kendra Valley Official, you know what I'm saying? Follow Diamond and Certificate, you know what I'm saying, bro? My man's like, my mans and no, and I ain't just blowing no smoke cause I work with him cause he also one of my best friends too. Mm -hmm. But like right. he one of the, he is one of the hardest working people I know. Mm -hmm. Like no cap, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. no cap, like uh, real efficient, like with his family, bro. He'll call me, I, I'll call him at 10 o'clock in the morning, bro, on a Saturday. He'd be like, bro, you know it's family time. What you want, bro? What's up? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. I love you, bro, but you know it's family right. time right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't working on no music. What's up? Right. Um, but then he'll call me at 12. Be like, hey, bro, come over for some, uh, for some rice, some chicken. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my dog, though. <laughs> right, that's right. That's my dog. But right. yo, we got the KB merch coming. The KB merch is coming. Um, uh, Lavender, the project. Lavender is a joint project. Kendrick Valley, me and him. That's coming in September. Um, Dominus everywhere. He's producing everybody's stuff. Yeah, he got that fire, so, man. Yeah, he's a fire producer. He one so, of the, yeah. he one of them. He, yeah. he is one of. He's a uh, Dove, uh, a Dove Award uh, nominated, uh, Grammy producer. nominated yeah. producer. Really heavy in the um in the, uh, in the Hispanic culture. Yeah, he's tapping over here. So yeah, y'all look out for us, man. Dove, yeah. take it over, man. This is yeah. coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love what I hear too. Yeah. Um, Man, it's it's been a good year, man. Uh, right now, Gutter the Glory is out right now on all streaming platforms. Y'all can yeah. go ahead and stream, run the numbers up. We doing pretty well, you know. All time streams up to seventy k, so I appreciate all yeah. the love and support. <laughs> For yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, and 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 a few royalty checks, thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. But um, I, I got merch as well. You know, No Grind No Glory apparel. You can yeah. grab you yeah. some hoodie, shirt. You know, at nogrindoglory.net. Yeah. Uh, got the album coming this summer. So, Man. you know, got some dope features on that mug. Yeah, these boys, boys got some features. heat coming, boy. I'm telling y'all, they got, <laughs> they got some heat coming. <laughs> Ooh, I done heard both of them do stuff, boy. That's the privileges of Yo, them. he got some heat. I ain't even gonna speak Whatever, on him. Whatever, man. His album. You got heat, bro. Stop he got it. Some, he, got some, he got some He got some. features yeah, on his album, but he got some five features. Man, on, look, so. look, and like I said before, yeah. man, if, if things want to happen the way they happen, this yeah. one happen. So yeah. I'm grateful. Yeah. Uh, follow your boy on social media. Uh, no grind, no glory. .net, website. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, official B1, official B W O N D A. Yeah. Facebook, official boy Wonder B O B O Y W O N D A. And the YouTube channel, subscribe, man. No, no grind, no glory. 
You find your boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Hey, man, it's always a pleasure to kick it, man, and, and, and to Facts. be a blessing, man, and bless the audience, man. And um, also, man, I almost forgot myself, man. Check out my merch, man, Motivated Apparel. Um, www.shiftmotivations.com is my original website and then if you just want to go straight to the link man you can go to www.shiftmotivations.com forward slash shop motivated apparel man hey it's been lovely Thanks. it's been the blueprint to success podcast Yo. till yes. next time we'll see you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded and if you remember to think different be different you'll have the opportunity to live different and we'll see you on the other side to success. Y'all have a blessed week.